Now I know what you're all probably thinking. Didn't she have a different persona like last week? And the answer is yes, I'm unable to stick to a single decision. Welcome to my sick twisted mind. So, Winx is the subject of today's video. It's a show that I watched when I was a little kiddo. And simply put, it influenced me a lot. If you're an OG fan of yours truly, you would know that I actually started this channel because I wanted to post my Wings fan transformations made in MS Paint somewhere online. I regret the decision every single day. That's a joke. Maybe. Anyhow, back to the subject at hand. Winx is a social experiment to test what would happen if we put Harry Potter and Sailor Moon into a blender and added some sparkles on it. All jokes aside, I really do like this show. It has also been a subject of my many, many redesigns over the years. If you remember the 2020 redesigns, no you don't. And if you've been paying attention, I've been posting my new redesigns in form of YouTube shorts. But now is the time for the actual big video where I compile all the redesigns and discuss my process. Enjoy! And first we're starting off with Bloom, the main girl of the show. I am mostly basing the redesigns off of the first few seasons. And in the first few seasons, Bloom is this artsy, kinda hot-headed but mostly nice girl. And you know what? She's kind of a nerd too. I mean, drawing theories like, what are you, 12? Couldn't be me. This is the part where you all laugh and call me a hypocrite. <laughs> But basically, I always got the vibe that Bloom was supposed to be the self-insert character little girls watching the show are supposed to project onto. So I kept the redesign pretty basic, something you would see a hypothetical teenage girl wear. In the early seasons, Bloom's main color used to be blue, but as the seasons went on, it kind of became pink. So I decided to incorporate both of the colors into my redesign. When it comes to character design, I always prefer to keep things really simple, because I'm an animator and I usually design characters with animation purposes in mind focusing on shape language and limiting myself to a few colors and details. And for Bloom's fairy form, I did an oopsie. You see, a while back, I was researching mythology, specifically mythological dragons, and I discovered that the Turkish depiction of a dragon creating the universe was very similar to the lore of Winx Club. And I was like, oh, it would be cool to have some vague Turkish influence on Bloom's character design. And this is where I did the oopsie. Apparently, I mixed things up and these kinds of clothes are not very common in Turkish culture. And now I just feel stupid. I'm sorry. But truthfully, it was always more of an inspiration than an homage. So I'm still pretty satisfied with this design. I think it's pretty shaped and fun. Next up is Stella, Bloom's best friend and fairy of the shining sun and moon. I always found it cool that even though Stella was the fairy of both Sun and Moon, she mostly had Sun in her design, and this makes sense. You see, Stella's parents represent the Sun and Moon respectively, her mother representing the Moon and her father representing the Sun, and they are divorced, and Stella is closer to her father, which makes sense why she includes mostly Sun iconography in her clothing. I always found it kinda cool how Wings included stuff that kids deal with, even if it's heavier topics. And for Stella's redesign, I mostly just wanted to change up the colors while still keeping that fashionista style. And not gonna lie, I'm super satisfied with this design. This one piece orange to red jumpsuit she's wearing is stunning. I love the jacket I added, I think it's so stylish. I would honestly want to have it in real life too. You know, I'm not a fashion expert, but I think this is pretty stylish. And for her fairy form, I don't know why honestly, but I went with Roman inspired clothes because I just think they look sick and I think they make her look like some sort of goddess, which is pretty darn cool. I also gave her back her staff because I don't know why they removed it in the later seasons, maybe there was a plot point, I don't remember, but that staff was originally the source of her powers. So I gave it back, it looks cool, it looks slay, I love it. And next up we have Aisha or Layla. Depending on what version of the show you're watching, her name will be different. But even though I grew up with the name Layla, I will be referring to her as Aisha, as that is her original name in the Italian version of the show. Aisha's kind of my favorite character. Well, that's a lie. Still is my favorite, but I think Aisha is the best written character. For her redesign, I mostly just changed the colors. I never vibe with the original colors they picked for her because they were a little too muddy. That's not a flaw, it's just a personal matter of taste. And for her fairy form, I went with a swimsuit inspired look. In the earlier seasons of the show, her colors were mostly green and... Honestly, I kind of dig the decision that the later seasons made to make her colors more aqua based. Because she is the fairy of fluids, primarily water. It just makes sense. 
For this design, I mostly just wanted to make it sporty, but also whooshy. I don't know how to explain it, but like, I wanted it to look like a water splash, because that is kind of the vibe we're going for here. And next up, we're on to Flora, the shy, smart mom friend of the group. Honestly, I don't have much to say for her redesign. I was mostly going with the soft girl energy vibe. Like, she's just a little cutie pie. Look look at her go. Look at her. I also added glasses in post. For her fairy form, I do have some things to say. For example, I wanted the overall design to be very frilly and very soft and beautiful, much like a flower. I love the colors I chose, like the slight green with pink. I think the combination is really pretty. I really intentionally wanted the overall design not to be too shiny because I wanted to invoke this natural beauty type of look. Because get it? She's the fairy of nature! It makes sense. And we're on to Tecna, the fairy of technology. Honestly, I have to admit, as a kid I kind of overlooked Tecna. But now, as an adult, I really do acknowledge that she was one of the more interesting characters in the show. Her struggle of not being able to express her emotions properly is something that might resonate with many people. And I think she's a very interestingly written character as we slowly see her come out of her shell and be able to express these feelings that she's been, you know, repressing and stuff. And I really wanted to reflect this in the redesign. Like, Tecna is having a hard time expressing her emotions, like, verbally, but maybe she would try to express her bits of personality through her style, which is why I chose such a detailed, complex design for her instead of the other characters. I just kind of went for this grungy type of vibe, but I think it looks super cool. Also, pay attention to the colors, they will be important in a short little bit. And for her fairy form, I also wanted to keep up this theme of not expressing emotions, which is why I gave her a mask. You know, she's literally hiding her expression, like, it makes sense, I'm so big brain! And the overall fairy form design is very much based on a futuristic hacker type of vibe, because honestly, hot take, I kind of didn't like her original fairy form in season 1, like, it's fine, I just don't dig it. Like, it's a little ugly. I don't, I don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, let me reveal what I've been hinting on with the colors. You see, when her design is in her human form, she is mostly dull colors. But when she is in her fairy form, her colors are brighter. Think of it as a power on switch. When it's off, the colors are duller. When it's on, the colors are brighter. And it's also a metaphorical thing where she's more expressive of her emotions in her fairy form because she's more in tune to herself. And finally, we're on to the last character I redesign, which is Musa, the fairy of music. Okay, for this redesign, I know exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to make her a tomboy like she was in the early seasons, because for some reason, they decided to forcibly feminize her in the later seasons, giving her long hair, a more girly fashion sense, a more girly personality, and you know, I get it. I also became more in touch with my girliness over the years, but like, come on, all of them are girly. Like, at least have one tomboy, just one! <laughs> For the clothing style, I went with this mix of grunge and scene, because, you know, she's the music girl, she, she's a little out there, she's a little old, she's a little quirky. And finally, for her fairy form, I went with this kind of jester type of vibe, like she's an entertainer, she's a musician, and I feel like mixing a jester vibe with, like, a performer and DJ vibe is kind of cool, and I freaking love how it turned out. Also, I love the colors. I love that I picked this pinkish red with this purpley blue. I think it looks super pretty and really goes well with her eye color and hair color and is similar to her original colors in the show. And with that, we have redesigned all the Wings Club girls. But wait, the video is not over yet. No, don't turn me into a marketable acrylic keychain! There is a first time for everything, and this is my first time ever creating merchandise. I have decided to collaborate with Vogue Race to bring you these amazing acrylic keychains. So, who are Vogue Race? Well, Vogue Race are a manufacturer specializing in custom acrylic and wooden keychains, all kinds of stickers, badges, metal pins, washi tapes, standees, throw pillows, lanyards, phone grips, and so on. They pretty much have everything your heart desires. As you can see, they're extremely high quality. Pretty, shiny, glossy, not to mention sparkly. Look at the sparkles! The sparkles are my favorite part. And that's not even mentioning the printing quality, because holy damn! When I ordered the charms, I was a little worried that my art won't look as good as it did digitally, but boy was I wrong. Not only are they super clean, they're also extremely high quality, and the colors look stunning in real life just as much as they did on the computer. Oh, but wait, I'm not done yet. Do you perhaps want to order your own custom acrylic keychains? Well, you can! Not only is their customer support very responsive, which is great, if you run into any issues, you can just contact them and they will clear it up. 
but also their minimum order quantity is extremely low. For example, let's say you're a small artist and you want to test out these keychains or other products Vogue Race has to offer before buying more of them. Well, I got some great news for you, because Vogue Race's minimum order quantity is extremely low and you can order most of your products from one piece to three pieces minimum. And if you're crazy like me and want to order 180 charms, you would get a 55% discount! But don't worry, Vogue Race offers insane discounts for almost any order quantity. This is amazing for small businesses and artists, because not only are their prices already so low, when you order a specific amount, you also get a huge discount, so it's a win-win all around! Where to find Vogue Race? Well, they have their own website, vograce.com, which you can find by clicking the link in the description. They also have a bunch of social media all listed on their website, such as a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and Discord. You can all find them over at the website, as mentioned. You thought I was done? Well, you're wrong, they also have a VIP deal! Enter their VIP deal to get 8% off, no limit use, plus a $20 coupon every month for only $99 a year. Again, link to that will be in the description. And if you're confused about anything, they have an active community discord with all sorts of fun stuff happening in there, so consider joining it if you want further details. Before I close this video off, I need to advertise my own shop as well. I opened up an Etsy shop! In this shop, for a limited time, I will be selling these acrylic keychains. And trust me, they're a one-off deal, I will never be selling them again, so get them while you can! There's about 180-ish of them, so be fast, be speedy, be sonic, get those keychains right now! The link to my shop will be in the description, because you don't want to miss out on this, it's a one-time offer, and don't you want a cool little Winx keychain of my own redesign? You do, you do, I'm telling you, you do. Please let this be a good financial investment, okay? Once again, thank you to Vogue Race for helping me out with this video, and you should check them out. Again, links to everything in the description. Bye-bye!